Hi everyone, I'm Jo Barclay Logie. Today's demo is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do a beading technique. I'm not going to show you how to make something. But rather I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a demo on how to use a tool. Um, and the tool that we're going to look at today is the bead spinner. It comes in two parts. Often comes with a really big hooked needle as well. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to use this with a little bit of a twist. Instead of spinning beads onto the needle that comes with the spinner, we're going to spin straight onto wire. And that's because I'm going to do a series of French beaded flower techniques for you. And beading straight onto your wire is ideal. And we're going to use 0.6 mil wire. Um, it's something that you really need to persevere with. I nearly threw the spinner out the window a number of times. My mum is testament to that. She was here when I was trying it and I just got so frustrated. I couldn't get the technique right. Once you've got the knack though, it's just brilliant because you will add so many more beads to your wire than picking them up individually one by one. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to replicate the shape of the needle but using just your wire and as I said in the intro you can use your 0.6 wire or your 0.4 wire. Your 0.6 is just going to give you a bit more of a sturdy finish. So what you're going to do is take your nylon jaw pliers and just run the end of your wire through the nylon jaw pliers a few times. This just work hardens the wire so that it doesn't kink horribly and bend horribly and it works better as a needle. Then you're going to take the very end and just clamp the end onto the back of your pliers, the handle of your pliers with your thumb and bend the wire around the back of your pliers just to give you your needle shape. So there I have my needle replicated in the wire. Now to just show you how this is going to work before we add in the beads, I might swap down to a smaller spinner. You get all sorts of spinners. This is a manual one. I'm going to be spinning with my left hand in an anti-clockwise direction and I'm going to be holding the wire in the bowl so it comes bring it this side, comes down and a hook going back to my right and if I hold it in the spinner like so, those beads are being thrown around the spinner in an anti-clockwise direction and they should just jump up onto my wire. Right, I have swapped to a slightly smaller size so that everything fits in, in the camera. Um, I'm working with my wire still on the spool um, when we get to do specific projects, I'll let you know how much wire to work with, but while you get the technique right, I'm just working off the spool. As I said, it takes perseverance, but it pays off because you thread the beads so much quicker than threading them individually. So I'm going to be spinning my beads this way around. I've just filled the spinner with a tube, one tube of seed beads, and I'm going to pop my needle in and hope that you can see on the camera how those beads are just spinning up the wire. So I've threaded a couple of inches within seconds. I'm just going to move them down the thread and show you that again. I'm not sticking the wire right down to the bottom surface of the spinner. I'm keeping it near the top so that the beads just bite on that edge of the wire and spin all the way up. So if you were making something and you needed to thread a load of beads, this is exactly how you would do it. You'd spin on a couple of inches and then you'd just stop and move them down your wire, making space for some more. You're going to get some escapees, that's fine. As long as you've got a bead mat underneath, they're not going to roll too far away. So that's all there is to the spinner. I'm not moving the wire, I'm holding it still What's moving are the beads in that anti-clockwise direction. So as I say, it does take a little bit of practice. I tried and tried and nearly threw it out the window. But as soon as you get that knack, 
it's so much quicker than painstakingly picking up little beads one by one. So have a go, have a practice. Don't be disheartened if you can't get it the first time round. Perseverance is key and you'll be delighted at how quickly you can thread on a zillion little beads instead of sitting doing them one by one. Much easier on the eyes too. So have a go and as I say I'll be back shortly with some projects for you to try.